you are welcome to the Messiah Revelation uh, Ministry. We are a prophetic end time uh, ministry. Uh, today our message is dedicated to demons and their doctrines. And I'll call them doctrines of demons. Uh, doctrines of demons are part of the end time strategies used by Lucifer and his agents uh, to get as many people as possible to hell. And Apostle Paul saw that in the end times, the doctrines of demons will escalate. They are doctrines that will masquerade as gospel and pastors will preach it and their intention is to take as many people as possible to hell so the apostle paul warned us in the book of timothy um, first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 so we'll read from first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 now the Spirit speak expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And some Bible call it doctrines of demons, and I would prefer to call it uh, doctrines of demons. Uh, we need so many um, videos and presentations on the doctrines of demons uh, that are spreading on online and offline. And for the purpose of this video, uh, I will focus on gay theology. And when we see uh, theology, we're talking about the doctrines and the principles propagated by men, ordinary men, in the days of the Messiah. Ordinary men propagated doctrines, doctrines of men, and the Messiah warned them. The Messiah warned the Pharisees. He said, you don't want to go to heaven. And you don't want other people to go to heaven. So you deceive them with doctrines of men. You add so many things to the original truth of the gospel. So when we're talking about gay theology, we're talking about the theology that is being propagated by gay pastors. This is what I call gay theology. And today we are focusing on the gay theology that is being propagated by a pastor, um, T.D. Jakes. Uh, you know who he is. Uh, he's very popular. Uh, he's a Negro pastor. He's a black pastor. And he has a lot of um, congregation, large congregation. He has followers uh, all over the world is eloquent and he deceiving people with his gay theology and that's why i put um, question mark about his name being uh, a pastor uh, it hates me to call somebody a pastor when that person is deceiving the children of god i hate to call somebody a prophet when the person is deceiving so many uh, people. But of course, the Bible talks about false prophets. And so in the end times, we can also talk about false pastors. And today I'm dedicating the discussion to TDJs. Uh, TDJs emerge um, as somebody who had a lot of promise. I remember uh, Time Magazine 
uh, had a cover page discussion about him and they were calling him the black Billy Graham um, not since the days of Billy Graham um, has America uh, gotten a pastor who is eloquent who uh, mesmerizes people with um, teaching mesmerize seeing people with uh, his oratory and his theatrics on the pulpit and oh, lo and behold um, now we know who T.D. Jakes is uh, propagating a gay theology um, in June 2015, the Supreme Court of the United States uh, decided that um, a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman. And a lot of pastors were interviewed um, for them to come up with their views on the Supreme Court decision. And I watched a video where uh, they were interviewing um, Pastor T.D. Jakes about the Supreme Court decision and he said that Christians have their Bible they have to follow the Bible and the government operates by the Constitution and so the government has to follow uh, the Constitution so that was his answer um, it was a diplomatic answer T.D. Jakes implies that uh, because the government is government has the constitution they have to go by the constitution and so if the Supreme Court says that a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman uh, then they um, they have the right to say that but for the church uh, the church has the Bible and the church has to follow the Bible and TD Jakes was very smart in quotation marks in his answer um, because you can see from his answer um, that he was saying if the Bible uh, doesn't believe in um, gay marriage uh, that is the Bible the Bible belongs to Christians and so um, if you're a Christian uh, you should follow uh, the Bible um, and leave the world to um, the leaders of the world. Uh, T.D. Jakes did not defend the kingdom of our father, did not defend the gospel. Uh, T.D. Jakes defended the decision of the Supreme Court of the United States, uh, the decision that a man can marry a man, and a, a woman can marry a woman. And T.D. Jakes says it's fine. Um, the government can do what um, it wants, and the Christians should not uh, challenge the decision of the government, uh, even when the decision is contrary to the preachings of the Bible. That is T.D. Jakes gay theology is one of the principles of T.D. Jakes gay theology and th this theology uh, is not the only um, theology that is demonic uh, we'll, we'll be talking about some of um, the other principles of T.D. Jakes uh, gay theology uh, you have to understand uh, that in the last days, uh, so many people will use the pulpit to promote the doctrines of demons. And this is what T.D. Jakes uh, is doing. And he's defending the Supreme Court decision um, in June 2015, um, endorsing same-sex marriage. And T.D. Jakes is saying that the government follows the constitution and the church follows the 
the, the Bible. Um, it's, it's a false uh, doctrine. And I think it's a brilliant way of defending the Supreme Court decision. And this is what a gay uh, theologian uh, would do. This is what um, a gay preaching pastor like T.D. Jakes uh, would do. And some people will sympathize with T.D. Jakes. And they will say that uh, he is a leader of a, four, a 501c corporation, a corporation uh, operating under a particular code, Internal Revenue Service Code 501c. And so you have to preach uh, what is politically convenient. And so T.D. Jakes has to preach a gay theology that is politically convenient. Um, a pastor refusing to challenge um, doctrines that are destroying um, the Christian uh, community, uh, particularly the black community uh, in the United States. T.D. Jakes himself being a black man, a black pastor. Um, I thought T.D. Jakes will repent, but um, he has not repented. And I watched another video. Um, I watched it, and T.D. Jakes was being interviewed, and a question was put to him. Pastor T.D., can the black community the, the black church, can it coexist with gay? In other words, should the black church, the black community endorse gay? Should gays be allowed in the black churches? And then he says, sure, yes, yes, sure. They can coexist. The black church or the church in general can coexist with um, the gay community. And so this is another principle of gay theology propagated by um, gay affirming, gay endorsing uh, pastor, pastor T.D. Jakes. The black church, or for that matter, the church of Jesus Christ, the holy church can coexist with gays. And so it is okay to be a Christian and a gay at the same time. That principle contradicts the laws in Leviticus. That principle contradicts the admonition in Romans 1, um, verse 25, 26, and 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, um, 19 to 22. And it also disobeys the warning uh, given by uh, Messiah in the book of Revelation, Revelation uh, 22, verse 15. Outside the gates of heaven were a group of people, and one of the classes of people excluded from heaven are whoremongers, and those who are not holy, because heaven is holy, our Lord is holy, and those who are not holy will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And so T.D. Jakes is saying that it's okay for the black church to coexist, coexist with gay people. Um, it also means that the black church can be pastored by gay pastors, lesbian pastors. I watched TDJs talking about so many blasphemous things um, when he was being interviewed. He made a statement that all gay people are different. Gay people are different. Of course, we have black gays and white gays, Latino gays and African gays, um, are they different? No, they are not different. They are the same. 
they are engaging in a lifestyle for which the Lord destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Of course, gay people are different. We have ordinary gay people, black people who are ordinary people who are gay. And we also have pastors, black pastors who are gay. Desmond Tutu was gay, Archbishop in South Africa. And he made a statement. He said that if God is homophobic, uh, homophobic, then um, he, Desmond Tutu, would not like to enter heaven. He funded a club, gay club in South Africa. And he endorsed gay um, um, lifestyles. He defended being gay. He was proud about it. And I don't think he repented until he died. And so T.D. Jakes is saying that gay people are different. To some extent, it's right. They are different because we have ordinary people who are gay. And we have pastors who are gay. And so they are different. Gays come in different sizes, different colors, and different levels of education and T.D. Jakes is aware that um, gays are not different because the Lord does not differentiate among gays. T.D. Jakes should know that in the case of Sodom and Gomorrah, um, the Lord did not differentiate among gays and lesbians. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, were destroyed. TDJ also made another statement when he was being interviewed, and he said that uh, people should find, rather he's, he's talking about gay people, gay people should find black churches that represent their core values. So the word is important, core values. If you are gay, if you are lesbian, um, look in the black community and find a church, a black church that represents your core values, your gay values, your LGBT values. So you go to Atlanta and then you go online and then, and then you, you, you search for churches and you will be looking for churches where the pastors are gay. You'll be looking for churches where um, they will host LGBT uh, ceremonies. Uh, they will bless gay marriages. Um, they will do that. TDJ is saying that gay people should find black churches that represent the core values of gay people. And so that is one of the principles of TDJ's gay theology. He also made a statement about his own church. If you don't like my values, go to your own church. In other words, if you go to TDJ's church and you don't like his gay theology, you don't like his views about gays and lesbians, LGBT, then go find your own church. This is a doctrine of demons. Because in Revelation, uh, you see that our Lord gave revelation to the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and Yeshua gave the revelation to an angel of the Lord, and the angel of the Lord gave the revelation to Apostle John, for Apostle John to give to the angels guarding the seven churches, for the angels to give to the churches. And so the churches are not churches of men. They are not churches belonging to men. Unfortunately, 
um, in the end times, the churches are one man, one woman churches. And so TDJ's church is not the church of Christ. Uh, it's not the church that um, the Lord contemplated. Um, it is not part of the seven churches. It is not a holy church. It is not a church based upon the Bible. Rather, it's a church um, that has deviated from the faith in the gospel, the faith in the teachings of the Messiah, the faith in the, the commandments of God, the faith in the laws as lie in Leviticus, the faith based upon the lessons that we should draw from what God did to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because of gay. Uh, people have deviated from that faith. And T.D. Jakes, Pastor, Pastor T.D. Jakes, obviously has deviated from the faith and is teaching uh, doctrines of demons. And 1 Timothy chapter 4 talks about seducing doctrines. And the doctrines of gay. Um, propagated by TDJs are seducing. They are seducing because these are principles coming from the mouth of a, of a powerful pastor with a large congregation who has written so many books and who is quote unquote a role model quotation marks, role model for the black community. And so whatever comes from the mouth of TDJs is palatable, is seducing. And this is what comes from the mouth of demons. Their doctrines are seducing. They are enticing. They are palatable. But they are doctrines uh, of demons. And this is what TDJs is preaching. Is preaching is preaching gay theology, uh, which is part of the doctrines of demons um, that um, comes under First Timothy chapter four, uh, verse one. It's very, very unfortunate that um, a black pastor, T. D. Jakes, uh, will preach gay theology, and he will advise gay men and women to find black churches that represent their core values. They can marry a man if they are a man. They, are, they can marry a woman if they are a woman. They can transgender. And they can do all things that please them, their core values. The core value that TDJs is talking about is not the core value of Christianity. It's the core value of Satanism. And as we are aware, there are so many rituals that go with the gay lifestyle. Uh, in Africa, uh, some of the pastors who are gay, uh, they are gay because um, they want to become rich. There are rituals that they perform. Uh, they perform in having sex with men, if they are men. Having sex with women, if they are women. Having sex with children um, in order to um, get the powers, the powers to uh, make money. So there is a spirit behind it. Um, pastors don't want to be gay just because they love to have gay sex. Uh, there's a monetary motive, motive behind it. And they do it, they do it to uh, get rich. But one thing you have to understand is that those demonic rituals are meant for Satan to take as many people as possible to hell. Because you will be enticed to engage in certain rituals. And the rituals you engage in is such that you will lose your salvation. But the, the, Satan will, will, will make you rich. He will make you form, famous. And so T.D. Jakes is very famous. Um, he's invited. Um, he's invited to 
churches all over the world and the congregations believe in what he says and he's a gay theologian and his words are seducing and he's doing the bidding for his father and the lake of fire was prepared for um, Satan and his angels and the angels of Satan um, include agents of Satan, include pastors uh, who are seducing men and women with seducing spirits of demons, preaching to them uh, doctrines of demons. The Lord will judge them, but unfortunately, so many people who have been taken to hell because they listen to doctrines of demons coming from people like T.D. Jakes, fake pastors and fake prophets. And it pains me uh, because black men, black women were taken as slaves from Africa and they were enslaved in the United States. And the Lord knows where they are and they are going to be gathered when the Messiah comes. Uh, you know the story. Black men and women, Hebrew Israelites living in Babylon. But they are being confronted every day with doctrines of demons. And these doctrines are coming from their pastors. And they are coming from their major pastors, those with influence, they are teaching them that it's okay to be gay and Christian at the same time. And if you are a gay, look for a black church that represents your gay lifestyle. Don't listen to the Bible. Don't listen to um, the story, quote unquote, about Sodom and Gomorrah. You'll be fine. God loves everybody, and you are gay, and God loves you. If the pastor is gay, he cannot preach about um, holiness. If the pastor is gay, he cannot preach against gay. He enjoys the company of gay congregation. He enjoys the tithe paid by gay men and gay women and you will not preach against it. Ultimately, he will be condemned by those members of the congregation. They will also be condemned. The Messiah is coming for a remnant, a remnant who obey his commandments. And if you are a gay theologian like T.D. Jakes, you are not obeying the commandments of God and you are one that you should repent uh, otherwise you will face the consequences the consequences are eternal you are preaching doctrines of demons and you are taking as many people as possible to help uh, we will be focusing on uh, the doctrines of demons it's, only, it's not only T.D. Jakes who is preaching about doctrines of demons. There are a lot of pastors, and some of them are archbishops, and they have connections with T.D. Jakes. They invite T.D. Jakes to their churches. And so they are also preaching, they are endorsing the doctrines of demons. They are pastors preaching about prosperity, they are not preaching about salvation. They are not preaching about repentance. They are preaching about the doctrines of demons. They are inculcating demonic doctrines in their congregation. It's important for you to know their fruits because based on their fruits, you will know them. It is not their eloquence. It is not the size of their congregation. It is not the suit that they wear, not the shoes that they wear. It is not the perfume that they put on their body. It is what comes from their mouth. And based upon what comes from their mouth, you know who they are. 
T.D. Jakes preaches gay theology and you know who he is. He is not somebody that you should emulate. He's preaching gay theology and if I were you, I would not sit near his pulpit. Thank you for watching this video.